Hello guys, I am Marchie back with another Timber and Stone episode that is well overdue. Now look around this screen. Look around this beautiful, beautiful Timber and Stone screen. There should be a couple things that catch your eye. First off, in the top left area, there is no longer, uh, there's now a speed selector. There is a normal speed, play, a fast forward speed, and a pause. We always had a pause and a play, but uh, there were never buttons there to indicate either pause nor either pause nor play. Uh, also, hopefully this caught you in the bottom of the screen. Uh, a goblin archer has been spotted by Sandy, so we've been suffering loss after loss. And here I am, I log in. It's dusk. Everyone's getting ready for bed, and I'm like, okay, let me try out this triple speed. I put it on. I'm triple speeding away, and then all of a sudden, look at this. Check this out. Triple speed and away, and then I just hear, Rrr! and it's a, it's the goblin sound, obviously. So, what we're going to have to do is infiltrate, equipment. I'm not making the same mistake I made before. I'm not making the same mistake I made. Equip optimal armor, and then equip a bronze sword. And she looks ready to fight. Let's do this battle in three, two, one. She won and then fell asleep like a boss. Sandy Cheeks wrecking face across the entire map. Kills the enemy, goes back to sleep. Should be a meme. Okay. So here we are in 1.3. 1.3 introduces a bunch of cool features, not only the fast forward, uh, a lot of cool new mobs, uh, the sapling feature. Uh, it's It's quite a... I set up all of our uh, settings. The only one that I haven't set up is our left bar. is isn't as extensive as it used to be. It only has food, which we're almost done with. We're almost dead on the food area. So let's just fast forward here. Night. It's not super fast, but we could look as it plays on the background. Uh, if you will look. If you will lend me your, ear, your eyes. Look at that, 60 copper, 12 tin, 29 iron, 10 silver, 5 gold. That's good. And now you might be asking, why, what are we going to do this episode? Why, I will tell you, we're going to begin the wall. 1.3 introduces a lot of scary new mobs, and I think it's important to get up our wall. So, let's see, what's queued up, some cobblestones queued up, great. Uh, but you know what, cobblestones queued up, let's queue up some more. We're using cobblestone 1, it looks like. So, uh, only 60's queued up. Let's queue up another 200. Move to top. Good. They, uh, they stacked. Let's, uh, get rid of these. And I will join you when it's daytime. Hey, guys, we're back. Uh, I, I got to dawn. They all got to work. And then I waited a second because usually, you probably can't see too well now, but when people start playing right at dawn, and they start recording right at dawn. I can't see anything for like three minutes. So hopefully you'll actually be able to see now. I was trying to hover over this to see if there's a quick key for it. It's probably like one or two or something. I don't know. I have not found it yet. Uh, just to let you know what's going on. Larry the Lobster is a level 8 miner. Uh, by the way, I thought that I would mention, I really like this setup that we're rocking. If we just go down here. Uh, this setup of characters. Of course I wish that Plankton didn't die and we still had a woodcutter and all that stuff. Uh, but I really like the setup because I like how there's always one mining, and whenever he gets an ore, uh, there's always one smelting it up right away. I don't know, it's just, like, instant. Uh, now we got a builder, we got a fisherman, uh, a crafter, and a farmer. Speaking of the fisherman and the farmer, they're not doing such a good job. I mean, like, they're doing the best they can, but, uh, it's just not enough. Now, let's lay down the beginnings of this road. Uh, we're going to use cobblestone, just normal cobblestone. And now, I made it too wide last time, and I really liked the road last time, so let's make it too wide again. So, let's begin this. Uh, and now we'll make it like that. And uh, we'll make it high enough, of course, that they cannot get up. Nothing can get up. That's, of course, the idea, to keep out all the baddies. And I'm putting it right there, so you're like, okay, that's a little short. Uh, I've decided that in case we want to do fishing later, I'm going to bring it all the way over to where the mine is right now. You see the mine right here? This is our mine. I'm going to bring it over to where the mine is. 
and then we're going to bring it straight down, or maybe down at an angle. I don't really know. I haven't thought that far. SpongeBob's level 13 stonemason. Nice. Uh, I'm going to bring it over down in that direction. There we go. Now you can kind of see. Uh, music's a little loud. A little bit too loud. Uh, you know what? No, 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 no. We can leave it. It's fine. Stone hammer is broken. He'll be fine. Uh, successfully crashed cobblestone. Now we got now we got a pattern going. We got a little bit of food. It is quite annoying how long it takes to get food. Like the only way for fast food is foraging. I'm convinced of it. The only way for fast food is foraging. Let's see, is he working over here? Is he working? You foraging? Why aren't you foraging? I just saw him mine. I just saw that he mined ores. Why aren't you foraging? Uh, wait, let's see, what ores did he mine? Let's sort this out right now. Oh, successfully crafts, okay. Successfully mines tin ore, successfully crafts tin ore. Good. He did it. Ooh, no stone hammers is available. Well, tools. Stone hammer, the most useful tool in the game. The, uh, the mother of all tools. What hoe are we rocking right now? We have, uh, how many? Of these? We have four stone hoes. That's all we have. Uh, stone hammer. Let's just make another ten, fifteen. Oh, oh I hear one. He sounds like he's right here. And they can swim better now in 1.3. It's just part of the update. I want to see this guy. Goblin kills a sheep. Yeah, there's goblins all over this map now. This one over here. Might only be one on our island, though. What is this? That's a dead one. I knew of this guy on the island. I knew of him. Uh, we might make Sandy our fighter. She's level 3. What is this thing? Oh, this is our miner. Okay. And that's a little trick where you just make the ground disappear to see the mobs. I don't know. Uh, I like it. I think that it's a it's a well known trick. SpongeBob wishes wishes to equip a stone hammer, but why can't he equip a stone hammer? He's making cobblestone without a stone hammer. No, who's making stone hammers then? Okay, then that's this message is just wrong. How is he making two things at the same time? How's that even possible? Oh, one of them's making stone hammers. I guess he's making stone hammers. What's his face? See, Larry. No, Larry's the miner. This has got to be... I don't know. Mr. Krabs. Uh, I like this... Um... This tree. I like how it grew in. They grew in so fast. I don't know if it was the triple speed or it's just new in this update. Oh. Wow. He's putting them down quick. Um... Let's first just get an outline of it. I don't want to build it like three high all the way around. For, like first I don't want to build it high and I don't want to build it high and then all the way around. I want to build it all the way around then high. If that makes any sense to you whatsoever. Let's put this one over to here. It's going much faster than I expected. Um, just bring this to right here. Uh, and I like going with the land on this. I've seen Supremo Pete's playthrough. I always talk about Supremo Pete's playthrough. He goes against the land. He digs out the land and then builds. I like going with the land. I guess that we should just give him like a bunch of building to do. Oh. Not these two though. Which one is it? There we go. Now you can actually see. Now you can see Will. We can't go through this tree, though. We gotta cut that down. Tried to go around these two trees. Huh. Doesn't matter, because there's that other tree there. We'll go around. We'll cut it down. We just don't have a woodcutter right now. Ever since the incident where Plankton died. If it wasn't clear enough already. Okay. 
There's a sapling. Don't want to run that guy over. Uh, and then you know what, right here? Let's just do this. And then this. That's actually a little bit far. Zoom in a little. Ooh. Just gives you an idea of the wall. Tab to unselect. Hit caps lock instead. That's why it didn't work. That's why it wasn't working. It appears that SpongeBob's making them just as about as fast as Patrick can place them. Oh, I hope that he does not come. I hear him. And he probably could just swim around it right now. I'll fix it so he can't. Uh, SpongeBob's stone hammer is broken. I mean, I care, but I don't care at the same time. So how are we doing on the actual wall construction? Good, that's about how far I thought that we'd be. Oh, food! Food is good. Food is doing well. That is nice. Um, a little bit laggy here, just for a second. We will zoom in in a second. Look at this. We have this like nice little clearing right here. What should we do there? I have so many ideas for like builds in this game. Uh the most important thing is that everyone gets a bed, which has not happened yet. I want to see, is the road... No, the road's not hooked up, that's why. I mean, probably more reasons that no one has come. Partially that we have no food, but maybe they would come if, if I actually be, built a way for them to come. Nope, I can't put it down for some reason. I think maybe you gotta click on the top of the block. I could put it down there. Could I put that down? Nope, I'm having a lot of trouble here. Good. Okay, that's nice. Now it's actually touching. This is a hall in here, right? Yeah. Level 15 stonemason, looking good. I don't think he's making them that fast anymore, right? Because he's not putting them down. Build cobblestone. Why isn't he putting them down? This is all cobblestone, right? Why isn't he putting them down? Why won't you build? Maybe this will work. There we go. I don't know what is happening there. Right? Yeah, it's all the same. Yeah, so it's definitely a bigger area than last time, right? I'd say. Yeah, it's bigger. Like, the area last time was just if we went up and around and cut it. Uh, it might mean that it's big enough for monsters to spawn in, like in the beginning. Look at what he's doing, he's glitched out. It's like he starts to do it and then he doesn't. I guess that's what he was doing before. He's doing it again. I guess he doesn't like building one under him. Maybe that's like a problem. He doesn't like to stand one level above where he's building. Ah, why can't he put a block there? What's wrong? Hmm. Let's see if we can send him over here, see if we can get a building over this way. There we go. We will fill in. The, we will fill in that block as soon as Patrick's willing. I don't know why he's being so difficult, but and I do have an idea eventually to upgrade this mine. I don't know how exactly. Let's see. How much more mine do we have to do? Not that much. We almost got it all. He mines in the most awkward patterns. If you weren't aware. And we'll just mine down here like crazy. I don't want to just mine out a big room because I feel like that doesn't look that nice. Uh, I'll mine in like strips, kind of like you would branch mine in Minecraft. I mean, there's no point to go branch mining because it doesn't make sense, but uh, we will. Now, let's take... We have 25 food. When you're done fishing... Well, let me check your level, Squidward. If you're almost leveled up, I will not use you. You know what? You're doing such a good job. I'll let you catch this fish and then... Stone pickaxe is broken. Stone hammer is broken. They broke all those tools at once. What are the odds of that? Okay. Okay, three, two, one. You got the fish. So good. Okay, you're an adventurer now. Right here. Right here. Take control. This is going to lag like crazy. 
and I have n I haven't used it since Earl World. Okay. Now this is crazy. This is the reminds me of Cube World. Reminds me of like first person Cube World. Cube World reminds me of this game. You walk really slow, but your sensitivity is so high. Like I'm barely bopping the mouse right now. This is just how shaky my hand is naturally on the mouse. I'm coming. We get to see our place. Oh, a little bit of lag there. It's definitely better than before, though. Before it was like unplayable. You'd go into this guy, you get to see him actually working. Makes the whole thing so much more realistic. Awesome. But you could definitely see the food supplies going down quicker while while he's not fishing. This is the mine. Hey. Hey man. Keep up the good work. Keep up the good work. I love the way the adventurer looks. I kinda wonder what the female adventurer looks like. Come on, get out. Get out. Up, up and at him. Up, oh, come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. What are you doing? We lagging now? We just lagging? Okay, he did not he does not like coming out of these mines. Okay, here we go. Nice. Here's the mining. Oh, there's the dead guy. Nice. Here's the road. Let's go inside, see how buddy spoons bring up. Or as he would say, SpongeBob. Okay. Why is it so laggy? Lagu. Lagusta. I no lagusta. No lag. So much better down by the water. Must be all like the moving parts, like everyone's crafting and stuff up here. Looking good, SpongeBob. Okay. Now, uh. Now I'm going to hit cancel, which is the uh, key that we use to stop being the adventurer. It was a good time. And then I'm going to hit back to game. Or I'm going to try to hit back to game. Come on. I hit back to game. I hit it twice. Oh, if I hit it twice, it's probably going to bring me back in this guy. Okay, good. Whew, so much less laggy out of him. And that's the trip we made. <laughs> Literally from right here to right here. I don't know. I don't know anything about writing code or programming or any of that. Uh, but it must have been so much work to get level 11 builder. That's actually pretty good. To get that into the game. It's such a cool feature and I really like it. But it just must have been so much work. Okay. Real talk. Fisherman. Okay. Come on, come down. We're sending you back to the water, back where you belong. Okay. Right here. Good. He's coming around with this wall pretty quick. Ah, it looks good. Reminds me of our last place a little with the corner being up on the hill. Patrick Stonehammer is working. I expected he would tear through stone hammers. This road looks so nice. And we'll have a road going out this way, over to this edge of the map, which is not that far off. It's just that far. Oh. I hear one. It sounds like he's right here. What's going on? What's going on? Uh, 1.3 is really laggy for me. I think it's my frame rate in the top right. Three frames per second? I doubt it. It's probably the zero right next to the three. I usually, when I'm not recording, I get above 100. I don't know why it's just lag. It's lagging so much today. I hate it when people say that. I shouldn't have said that. I don't like it when people say things like today with technology, you know? Like, oh, my computer's slow today. Your computer's slow because you installed something on it or because you filled up the hard drive. It's not because it just doesn't like Wednesdays. Sorry, I just don't like that argument. 
But on that note, thank you for watching another wonderful, spectacular episode of Timber and Stone. If you enjoyed, go on below, click on that like button, click on that share button. If you're new and you just you just saw this video, click on that subscribe. I upload these often. I also play Minecraft along with some other games. Uh, and I don't know if you know. Do you know that? Do you know that I know that you don't know that maybe I know sometimes that you know? Basically, check the description. I always put links to my other videos that you might like if you like this one. Thanks for watching, guys. See you later.